the great things you see happen. Significant activity is observed throughout neural structures during dreams. Visual imagery is generated through the same mechanisms that form images in waking perception. Our research has mapped these pathways through various techniques, including waking perception comparison, neural impulse backscatter mapping, and Lopez-Wagner optical inventory. These breakthroughs are undoubtedly quite significant and form the backbone of our dream imaging technique. But this is barely scratching the surface of what we hope to achieve. Our currently available technology, EEG monitoring, magnetic resonance imaging, is too slow and imprecise to accurately measure the neural signals that we need to access. Our medical technology research team, Mrs. Ingram and her husband, are making tremendous strides in neural imaging that let us view with great accuracy and non-invasively not only cerebral blood flow, but neural voltage across many areas of the brain. This technology is behind the newest iteration of our scanning hardware. Merely viewing dreams is all well and good. What we're trying to achieve is real, actual understanding of where dreams come from. That is our next step. The unconscious leads through dreams to perception, which leads to the conscious. We plan to follow this river upstream, into dreams, into memories, into whatever mysteries await us there. Our studies into this field have been primarily concerned with dream synchronicity. By having several test subjects begin dreaming together, and not just monitoring their brain waves, but amplifying waves that are found within multiple subjects and propagating them through the other subjects, we have been able to produce astonishing results. Building off of these tests, We've shown that amplifying certain neural wave vectors allows for on-demand recreation of specific dreams. We aren't yet sure of the true potentials for this discovery, but every day we are taking our research further than ever before. As we continue upstream, where this river will take us, we do not know. But the current we are pushing against is one that we humans have pushed against for our entire existence. I know some detractors of our work have said that this pursuit is misguided, and there are some things that man was not meant to know, but is it not in the nature of man to follow his dreams?